The Los Angeles Dodgers sparked intense public backlash after the team re-invited a drag group known for mocking Christians and nuns to their annual Pride Night and gave them an award, right, an award. But it appears the Dodgers aren't the only ones celebrating the controversial group. Now, one of the members of the group is set to be honored by the California Senate's upcoming Pride Recognition Night. So not one awards now, but two. His name is Michael Williams. He also goes by the name Sister Roma. And while state Democrats are calling Sister Roma an outspoken and globally recognized figure, Republicans aren't so thrilled, and I would think many common sense people. Assembly Republican leader James Gallagher explained to Fox News Digital, quote, it's disgusting that the California Senate is choosing to honor an anti-Catholic hate group. Would Democrats still embrace this group if they mock Jews or Muslims? Bigotry and discrimination against any religious group and is are wrong and have no place being honored in the state capitol. Ainsley, mm -hmm. this group, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, mm -hmm. they pole dance around crosses, acting as <coughs> fake nuns, yeah. because they're not actual nuns. Right. Uh, they have Foxy Mary contests, Hunky Jesus contests, uh, and they say, go forth and send some more. Totally irrelevant, totally anti-Christian, and they get two awards. Well, that I mean, gosh, we all are adults. We live in America. You can make your own decisions when you're an adult as to how you want to live your life. You know, that's the beauty of America. We're not going to tell anyone who they can love and who they can't, and we're taught in, in church not to judge people. The problem I have with this is what you're saying, because Christ means a lot to me, and I think everyone on this on this, on this Kirby couch, we all, we all have our faith. And so that's what bothers me. They're holding an annual Foxy and Mary Hunk Jesus contest. All right, that might be funny. Jesus has a sense of humor, but that's not, I don't think that would be allowed in our churches. And then the pole dancing on crosses. I'm sorry. I wouldn't want my daughter to see that. And then their motto is go forth and send some more. Here's what I think. There are 4 million Catholics that live in LA. That doesn't include the Protestants who love Jesus too. Mm -hmm. And so why would you do this? If you're a business, if you're a sports uh, entity, why would you support such controversial and political um, pushes and point. campaigns because we saw what happened with Bud Light and what's happening with Target and what's happening with uh, what are some of the other companies. They're losing millions, billions of dollars. Yes. And this that same thing's happening with the Dodgers. And then you have the players that are standing up against this and they're saying, what about us? We play for this team and we're Catholics. Yeah, Emily, to that point, Clayton Kershaw, I want to give him a lot of preps. I asked my husband about him. He says he's a great man, does so much for the community, a man of faith, and he's on the Dodgers. He came out and said this. This has nothing to do with the LGBTQ community or pride or anything like that. This is simply a group that was making fun of a religion that I don't agree with. Good for you, Clayton Kershaw. That's right. And Trevor Williams joined that as well, pitcher for the Nats. He used to be in the Cubs and the Mets mm -hmm. and uh, Pittsburgh. Um, he said an MLB game, that's a place where people from all walks of life should be welcomed. That's the purpose of different themed nights like Pride Night. So he's saying essentially by including, by honoring such an irreverent group, such a patently offensive group, that is nothing like the inclusivity that these themed nights are supposed to be. He mentioned the 4 million uh, population there in Los Angeles. County, and I have to close by saying that that irreverence in certain religions by extremists has resulted in the assassination and fatalities of those that have done that. So to mock, to openly support mocking a religion when it is so deeply personal and so deeply fundamental to those of us Christians, that is so appalling to me, and it makes me never want to go to an MLB game down there again. Wow, oh, Harris. That's going to be their biggest problem. It's like I'm always saying, even about DE and I. I mean, you got to find a way to balance whatever promises you're making to the people who this is important to, behind the scenes, your shareholders, your corporations, whatever. Balance that with the people in the seats, and and figure out what works. Look, you don't have to sexualize everything. You don't. But that's what that means when they're pole dancing around crosses. Mm -hmm. That's why it's offensive to you, mm -hmm. Ainsley, because it hurts because you know it's being it's put into a place that should be private. It's, it's so nasty. irreverent. We know what happened on that cross, you know? Right, but, but to sexualize that as if Jesus yeah. were feeling pleasure when they were killing him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a really warped sense mm -hmm. of, I don't even have a word for it, but that's why it offends you. And the parties with sexualizing Mary and, and everybody else, why do we even need yeah. to do that? Why is that, wh who out there is dying to buy a product based on that? And will you ever be able to satiate them? And Harold, I've got to believe this angers many in the gay community, many Democrats as well. I think this is just kind of a common sense thing. It is. I agree with everything that's been said. When, when, and I, I thought that uh, Ainsley said it best at the outset. 
why honor the group? I get the freedom. People are have yeah. free to do whatever they choose, love whom they choose, and we love, love how them. they want to choose. Yeah. And every, everybody around here agrees with that. Around the touch agrees with that. But what I don't understand is why the Dodgers and why the California State Senate. I, I've yet to hear anyone give an argument or make a case for why they should be honored. Yeah, yeah, should not be honored, but honored twice. That's where we are in society today. More outnumbered next. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.